Hello guys, how are you? Welcome to my channel. It's me, Avilia Sadulio, a teacher in profession whose passion is to do video tutorial. Today, I will teach you how to make a simple uh, birthday invitation. So if you don't want to spend much in uh, making birthday invitation, you can do it yourself in just a very simple way just uh, go on watching and find out how we will be using adobe photoshop cs6 in this project so let us open now Adobe Photoshop. The okay, first thing to do, of course, is we need to set up the size of our birthday invitation. So, uh, what are we going to do is click File and New. And then you have to click here, Photo Sense. You will be, uh, you will be printing this project in a photo paper or a special paper. Then you have to set up the size. So we have your landscape in uh, four sizes. Same with the portrait. I'm going to use landscape by five by seven. Then click OK. Then we need to add the background that will show that we are inviting uh, the person for a birthday party so we need to add background make sure you already have downloaded a background for your project okay so let's now have our background just scroll okay we have it here so i have here this one I think I will be using white youth. Okay, then now uh, we will be transferring this one to our first background. So what I'm going to do is click window and arrange. Then uh, click three vertical so that we can see that to background so what I'm going to do is to click this one and then the arrow this move tool then just left click this picture and then drag it to the background then you can close this one now so as you can see we have very small uh, picture we can just transform this one uh, it's better if you will use a picture which has a, a big uh, pixel. Okay, so let's see if it will not be pixelated. Let us edit and then click retransform. Let's see if it will not be pixelated. Okay, if you think it's not good because it's pixelated, you can uh, add another picture. Okay, let us now add some text. Okay, let's click T and then let us also 
determine the font style that we are going to use so let's say it this is good have to also set the font size and of course the color let's use the red color okay then let's make it at the center you can just adjust later let us have that first and then we can uh, is the size of this it's highlight so we can nice you can do this or you can uh, have another way of increasing the size and get, get to, you can also add some additional style later okay. Okay. have another another style of font no no sorry okay we have to Have another layer. Then let us have this one. A same uh, color, same uh, font. You can increase this one to twenty four. Just enter, then uh, and just put it at the center. Okay. And I need to change the file. Okay, and later let's see. Okay, come join us in celebrating Kim Jeldy's 10th birthday, and we can add here. A picture of the birthday celebrant. So click open and then choose picture. then we will transfer this photo to the first uh, work that we have and so let us first wrap this one let us remove those unnecessary part of the photo then we 
thick window and two up vertical so we can see the two uh, photos and then click this one the move tool click also the picture and drag to the right and then you can already close this one then after that let us try to get the spray transform the picture this is in size so it will be accommodated in the Then let us continue typing. So again, I will click T and then below. I will also choose another one style. And then just use 14, then we can just adjust later. can change the color of this uh, let's say this one go back to the first sentence that is our layer so we can add some blending options so I will be adding some rock so will be Using the white one, but it will be visible there. Okay. Then for our next layer, the name, I will also be adding some. the color let's say yellow we got this the effect okay there much better and then okay and then the last part you can also add some blending options here we can also add some stroke 
can also use that black one then click ok so I have to let's see if it's better if I make it larger in size Come join us in celebrating Kim Childe's 10th birthday on April 30. Okay, we are done, my dear viewers. Now our project is now ready for printing. Okay, now for printing, uh, if you are using 5x7 photo paper, what you will do is just to click file and then print. And then you have to see the print setting and you have to change the document size to 5 by 7 inches and of course you have to use landscape and then click OK and there you have it it's now ready for printing just click it print and then you are Thank you so much guys for watching. I hope you like this video, this video tutorial. Please do not hesitate to click the like button. And then please do not forget to subscribe my channel for more of my videos in the future. See you guys on my next video. Bye bye.